I don't want to butcher this man's name. Joe Bonamassa. Bonamassa. I know I messed it up. And I feel bad. But that's who we react to today. This is a request from my boy Robert. Uh, Robert has put me on to uh, Roy Gallagher, Gary Moore. Um, you know, in my journey, in my quest to find who is the greatest guitarist of all time, Robert has steered me in the right direction. And this is his latest uh, request. And to my knowledge, he told me this man was still living, as opposed to a lot of people who I've been reacting to who are deceased. Um, I think Joe is still alive, but we got his research here. So, yeah, I know we're going to do this quick. Joseph Leonard Bonamassa. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Is an American blues rock guitar. I'm, look, look, look y'all, look. If you want to be the greatest, just play the blues. Elvis, he knew the blues was the cheat code. Aretha Franklin, all of these people, they all come from the blues. Michael Jackson, even in the bubby, bubblegum early Motown, he studied the greats of blues. You want to be great? The blues is the answer. And the thing is, once you study... You got to really understand what the blues is. Yeah, I know blues is my favorite. That's that's me at my core. You want to be great, play the blues. Uh, he was an American blues guitar singer, songwriter. Started his career at 12 when he opened for B.B. King. Since 2000, Bonamassa has released 15 solo albums through his independent record label, JNR Adventures of which 11 have reached number one on the Billboard Blues chart. That is very impressive. He's basically an independent artist. I don't know, I mean, I would assume he's been independent his whole career. That's very impressive. Um, he opened for B.B. King at 12 years old, Jesus. How great do you have to be to do that? Uh, he produces and collaborates on many of the projects. Uh, current artist. Okay. In 2020, he created Keeping the Blues Alive Records, an independent record label that promotes and supports the talent of blues musicians. I like that. He's from New York. All right. So, what? I mean, if 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 Robert's saying that he's one of the greatest of all time, he's been doing this since twelve, since the seventies. Well, not the seventies, the eighties. Um, safe to assume. He's a legend. He has three Grammy nominations. Well, we'll find out. We'll find out. Um, you know, again, a lot of times, and again, we've talked about this before. So often, you have so many greats who I, I don't want to say steal the light, but oh my goodness, he performs here February 24th. The theater. I'm assuming they're talking about MGM. Oh wow. Well, if I like him enough, I might go see him. But so often we talk about how there are so many greats who take from people who are really talented. And they don't, and the person that they take from don't get the recognition. And then, of course, that person blows up and becomes the greatest. Um, not saying that happened to Joe here, 
but far too often i just I, I just feel bad when i don't know of certain people certain artists but i know the bigger names and it's like you know y'all have referenced that uh jimmy hendrix quote the y'all said he was in an interview and somebody asked him what is it like to be the greatest guitar player of all time and Hendrix said, I don't know. I'm not Roy Gallagher. I appreciate that. And I love that because, um, it, it, you know, you, you just feel bad for the really talented people who don't get the recognition. And it's just, you know, I don't know. I'm rambling, but. Here he's performing, just got paid live from the Royal Albert Hall, which is, this is no small thing. This is like the Madison Square Garden. Like th this is an equivalent to Madison Square Garden. So clearly he was beloved and, 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 and he was loved by the fans. So, and I, it looks like he sold it out from what I'm seeing in this first frame. So. He looked like he was very successful. Just isn't one of the big names that you think of. So, either way, we're going to do our research. We're going to listen to him. We're about to find out more about him and listen to uh, what Robert said. He said, in his opinion, this is the greatest living guitar. So, I want to see. So, let's go. <laughs> Friday Night Lights. Is that is that uh, am I thinking about the same song? Is this the same song? Y'all know if I'm if y'all have ever seen Friday Night Lights, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. When they're doing the montage between Dallas Carter and, and the Permian team, and they're going back and forth, showing them winning, heading to the state championship. I think it's that song, that riff. I think that's the song. I think it's this song. I hear that bass line. That's a bad boy right like there. That bass line is crazy. I just noticed that. This is crazy. Somebody explain the double drums. 
for me. This is the first time I've ever seen it. crazy everything about that was crazy I love how interact well I won't say interactive but just making use of the whole stage I don't think I've seen a guitarist do that since Eddie Van Halen and the crowd clearly appreciated it um yeah y'all gotta explain that like because it doesn't seem like the drums is doing anything that would warrant two drummers. So I'm just I'm just curious why two. I mean, that's such a first. That's the first time I've ever seen that, two drummers. Um but boy. And the the drummer on the left with the sparkly drums, how old is he? Like fifteen? He's like a child up there. But that was a crazy solo. Crazy. And the bass line. Oh my gosh. Y'all know bass might be my favorite instrument. That bass line. Just kind of accenting alongside the, the solo. Oh my gosh. That was incredible. Now, this part kind of reminds me of Rush.
Yeah. <laughs> Did he just check his nails in the middle? I know this, this is cardinal rule number one, don't ever stop a solo. I think I've only seen, I was about to say Hendrix, but I don't think I saw Hendrix do that. I think I, I, I do remember seeing Stevie Ray Vaughan do it once, but just toning his guitar mid-song and like do it effortlessly in a way that's not even like noticeable, like that was crazy. And the way he just checked his nails real quick, like, hmm. And then got right back. It's, that was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Bass line. This kind of remind me of Child in Time, Deep Purple. Just this whole jam session is like.
a hell of a way to end the show. Jesus, look at all those guitars. Did he use every single one of those? Got like 10 guitars. Oh, they want an encore. They want an encore. They want an encore. Yeah, they want an encore. Yeah, that was... Yeah, this definitely is giving me my first time reacting to Stevie Ray Vaughan, Texas Flood. It definitely reminds me of that. Just an incredible performance. Um... Yeah, and it was one of my, by far one of my favorite solos that I've heard, definitely. Um, you know, I, I got to hear more in order to put him in that greatest company, but it was definitely Guitar God-esque. It, it was, it was incredible. It really, really was incredible. Um, and again, this camera quality and everything it looks relatively new and i think this is on his channel this was three years ago wait in covid it must have been right before covid right february 18th okay yeah so i think covid kind of broke out in like march around march so this must have happened right before covid but either way incredible performance incredible love how he gave the drummers a moment to shine towards the end uh, excuse me that was just a so y'all y'all gotta let me know is that the song from friday night lights Y'all let me know. It sounds just like it. Let's see if we could do some song research. See if we if it's anything we could learn about this this record right here. Just got paid. Let me see here. Hold on. Just got paid. Okay, I'm just making sure. I... Okay. Uh, no Wikipedia. Okay. But either way, phenomenal song, phenomenal performance. Oh, wait. Is this a ZZ Top song? It says it's on his 2007 Shepherd's Bush Empire. Huh. Let me see here. Blues rock. So, that's another thing I wanted to say. I see blues, like it has certain elements to it that made it bluesy. But I didn't feel blues. Again, certain parts of it, I felt blues. I feel the blues inspiration. But I wouldn't classify it as blues. And I understand that blues is more than the stereotypical, which you probably think when you hear blues. I know it's much more than that. But and maybe it was the lyrics and the subject matter of the song that made it bluesy. And I was just so into the instrumentation that I, I really didn't. I liked it. And it was so crazy. The singing part of the performance was probably out of the 11 minutes was probably only a minute. Um, but I did like that part. Um, so maybe the maybe the lyrics is is why it's classified as blues. Because sonically, 
it sounded not arena rock. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I would classify it. But again, I see the blues inspiration in it. You definitely hear the blues in it. I just wouldn't classify it as blues. But y'all let me know, man. Robert, you did it again. You brought another guitar guide into the conversation that I can't wait to hear and learn more about. And um, just request and recommend more. And I'm definitely going to check them out. All right. Just, that's, that's all I got. And, 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 and matter of fact, maybe I could click. I'll do it on my own time. I'll find out how to. Because y'all know I always try to make my first re reactions legitimate first reactions. I try not to spoil nothing for myself. Um, I want to make the experience as legitimate and as raw and authentic as possible. So, like, as soon as I cut the camera on and I start and I start doing my research, this is legitimately, legitimately my first time being introduced to this guy. So, I don't know how to pronounce their names half of the time, nothing. So, next time, I'm going to watch an interview or something, something where he gets introduced and I'll get the proper pronunciation of his word, of, of his name. Um, Bonamassa, Joe Bonamassa. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But y'all let me know what else y'all want me to check out. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time, peace.